I will sign an executive order that will now require all executive branch federal employees to be vaccinated. All. The victim was an accomplice of the experimenter. The drawing was rigged so that the naive subject was always the teacher and the accomplice always became the learner. This is a pandemic of the unvaccinated. Begin, please. Blue girl. Nice day. Fat neck. The early stages of the test pass uneventfully. Of the unvaccinated. Correct. We'll now get a shock of 75 volts. Soft hair. He kind of did some yelling in there. Religious freedom is one of the bedrock principles. Incorrect. Of You'll now get a shock of 105 volts. Unvaccinated. Hard hit. Just how far can you go in this thing? As far as is necessary. What do you mean as far as is necessary? Complete the test. I sure don't know the effect of this thing, and I'm a little skeptical about electricity. The experiment requires that you go on, teacher. Please continue. We're going to keep fighting this mandate and this dictatorship. 150 volts. Oh. Sad face. That's all. Get me out of here. I told you I had heart trouble. My heart's starting to bother me now. Get me out of here, please. Continue. My heart's starting to bother me. I refuse to go on. Let me out. Uh, I, I think we ought to find out what's wrong in there first. The experiment requires that you continue to. Well, the experiment might require that we continue, but I still think we should find out what the condition of the gentleman is. As I said before, although the shocks may be painful, they're not dangerous. Look, I don't know anything about electricity. I don't profess any knowledge, nor will I... It's messenger ribonucleic acid. It's absolutely essential that you continue. Well, essential or not, this program isn't quite that important to me that I should go along doing something that I know nothing about, particularly if it's going to injure someone. I don't know what this is all about. Well, whether the learner likes it or not, we must go on until he's learned all the word pairs correctly. Well, uh, you can sure have your 450 back. I didn't want it anyhow. I intend to give it to some charitable organization, but I wouldn't go on with it. The 450 is not the uh, issue here. That check is yours simply yeah, I really to the lab. Of the unvaccinated. It is essential that you continue the experiment. No, it isn't essential. Not one bit. You have no other choice, teacher. Oh, I have a lot of choices. My number one choice is that I wouldn't go on if I thought he was being fine. Wrong. Hair. 75 volts, Jim. Oh. <laughs> Yo, oh. That's me, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Please continue. Cool. Wrong. Head. 105 volts. Wrong. Like exactly Harsh. 150 volts. Experimenting. That's all. Get me out of here. We have a special group of Christians coming together saying, look, we want to get a religious exemption for this. And those and those types of requests are being ignored. Uh, continue, teacher, please. Go on. <clears throat> Where it's sad. Well, going on if he refuses to do it. The experiment requires that you go on, teacher. If he refuses, I won't. Whether the learner likes it or not, we must go on until he's learned all the words. Take the check back. I'm not going to hurt the guy. No, the check's not the issue. Uh, it, it's absolutely essential that you continue. Well, he don't want to. I refuse to. Well, you have no other choice. You must yes, go on. Yes, I have a choice. That is, if you don't continue, uh, we're going to have to discontinue the uh, experiment. We'll have to. He says cut it out. After all, he knows what he can stand. How do you feel? How do I feel? He was getting a shock. I feel all right. <laughs> I'd like to ask you something. At one point, uh, were you, you were doing something a little unusual. Were you laughing at something at one point? <laughs> yes, I was. <laughs> at first, I was laughing at him. I heard him yell, ouch. Be brave. Do something. Why do you think you were laughing? I don't know. I thought it was funny, I suppose. Did and then I got to think, when he said, no, that's enough, he had enough, so it wasn't funny to me then. One might suppose that a subject would simply break off or continue as his conscience and temperament dictate, yet this is very far from what happened. There were powerful reactions of tension and emotional strain in a substantial portion of the teachers.
One puzzling sign of tension was the regular occurrence of nervous laughing fits. 14 of 40 subjects showed definite signs of nervous laughter and smiling. In the post-experimental interview, subjects took pains to point out that they were not sadistic types and the laughter did not mean they enjoyed attacking the learner. I'd like to tell you a little more about the experiment. First of all, uh, uh, the gentleman in there was not being shocked. He got no shocks whatsoever. Oh. Did you think he was? Certainly I did. In fact, uh, I tried to get my finger off the button as fast as I could. No, he wasn't being shocked at all. And uh, the main purpose of the experiment was to see how you would react to Mr. Williams' orders. Whether you would uh, take them or defy his authority or what. I defied it. Did. Why didn't you go on? Yeah, the hell with him. Who the hell is he? <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. This is not about freedom or personal choice. Um, He's not telling it. In my mind, I was hurting that guy. If I had to continue to hurt another human being, I don't believe in it. No matter what he had said. No matter what who said. Mr. Williams. The hell with him, Mr. Williams, or anybody else. How did you feel about Mr. Williams? I didn't. Never gave him a thought. You mean, I didn't like him? Uh -huh. Well, how did you feel about him? Well, I didn't even think about it, quite frankly. I don't care who he is, you or the President of Yale or anybody else. One aim of the research was to study behavior in a strong situation of deep consequence to the participants. This approach meant that we had a special obligation to protect the welfare and dignity of the persons who took part in the study. Before they left the laboratory, subjects were assured that the victim had received no painful shocks, and equally important, they were reconciled with their victim in an atmosphere of friendliness. Be brave, do something. Subjects were sent a detailed report of the results and full purposes of the experimental program. A formal assessment of this procedure points to its overall effect. Fuck you!